Annalise Woodward, Anne Marie Anderson, Japrice Dean getting mic'd up there at the end. Can you hear me okay? All right, congratulations on a big win. You don't even look like you just played a basketball game. <laughs> I know. You, you're so casual down there. I'm pretty tired. You're pretty tired. Okay, well, good. It, Corey Close said, we go the way that Japrice Dean goes. You came up huge today. What was working out there for you, Japrice? Um, thanks to my teammates. Um, people have confidence in me, and obviously Coach Corey has confidence in me, but credit to my teammates. We, I got to the lane easy, and uh, my teammates were open and were able to finish, so credit to my teammates, and it was fun out there. You know, it really wasn't an easy road for you personally this year, right? You come in with all those expectations. Close, Coach Close tells you to knock out all the noise of people comparing you to Canada before. You were up and down early. When you settled in to this season, what do you think was the biggest key to your success in leading the Bruins? I think just the support of people, even Jordan just texting me every day after every game, um, just supporting my teammates, coaches, meetings, film, everything. So just the support probably helped me out a lot. You guys had started Pac-12 play two and four, and then you played Arizona State the one and only time, and you had the game winner. And since that time, you guys have been absolutely on fire. You've won 11 of 13. What switched? I don't know. I think we just matured really fast and we became a team and it's not a bunch of individuals. It's like really collective. We have great leaders, Lindsay, Michaela, KB, our seniors, Lodge. It always starts with Lodge. They say it starts with me, but I think it starts with Lodge. Um, she brings fire, competitiveness, and, and just the teammates, my teammates. You know, Lodge and Michaela Onionware were in foul trouble today and you had to carry a real heavy offensive load with those two not on the floor. What was your mentality when you knew that they were only going to be playing sparingly while in foul trouble? Uh, I think just from the beginning of the game, I just wanted to be on attack mode, whether that's scoring or defending. Um, just being on attack just opens up a lot of things, whether it's me making shots or my teammates making shots. So just always stay on attack mode. You found some pretty good news this week. We're so excited for the Bruins fans. Kind of sad for the rest of the conference, honestly. <laughs> You're back next year. You found that out before this tournament. What was that moment like for you? Uh, I don't... <sighs> Just, I'm speechless. I'm still in disbelief that it happened. Um, just thank you to everybody who, who helped me out with that. A lot of people put a lot of work in to making that happen. Coach Corey, Compliance, Pam, like just a lot of people. So thank you to them. But I'm just grateful and I'm blessed. Well, we all remember what happened with Oregon and you guys the last time in Matthew Knight. You might play the winner. You might play Oregon. You're going to play the winner of Oregon and Arizona. When you look back to what happened in that Oregon matchup, that was a huge win. What what do you think moving forward and possibly seeing them again? Um, I think it'll be a great opportunity to play Oregon. They're a great team, have great players. Um, uh, it'll be fun, and that's what we came here to do, to have fun and play the best of the best. We were certainly having fun today, 24.7 assists. Congratulations on the big win, and we look forward to seeing your squad back tomorrow, and we look forward to seeing you next year. I don't think I speak for the rest of the Pac-12 when I say that, but I know I speak <laughs> for Bruins thank fans. Chip Priestine, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you.